Queen City Overtime. Mallard Creek freshman Ben Aguayo doesn't remember much from the summer of 2010. During a beach vacation, he started having stomach pains. Then he started throwing up. His parents eventually brought him to Levine Children's Hospital where he was diagnosed with an extremely rare, very dangerous progressive disease. It was the beginning of a one year fight for his life. I remember a lot of the pain, a lot of the feeling of just, am I going to die? Is this gonna be the end? Thoughts that no six year old should ever have. But Ben Aguayo was battling a disease that affects only about 300 people per year atypical hemolytic uremic syndrome. It was destroying his red blood cells and clotting his kidneys. There was a level of uncertainty, and so we were all along for the ride. And so in some ways, it, it um, was m more difficult for us because there was no clear path uh, for our son. Things would only get worse. Weeks later, Ben suffered swelling of the brain, seizures, paralysis on one side of his body, kidney failure, and eventually heart failure. There was one dire night John remembers when doctors told him to gather his family because Ben might not make it through the next day. But the six-year-old continued to fight. At that point, you're just hoping for survival. And then we finally shifted to, well, maybe he's going to have a much better quality of life than we thought. And now it's we want it all. We want our kid to have all the opportunities and all the successes and as, as any other healthy child would. There was only one opportunity that Ben wanted to get back on the soccer field. Before I got sick, it was it was my love. And after I got back, after I got out, you know, I just wanted to play soccer again. And that was a big factor of me just wanting to stay alive. Ben's talent was clear from an early age. He was a natural with the ball at his feet. You, sometimes you just see those kids that are dazzling on the soccer field at a very early age, and Ben was one of those kids. During his hospital stay, he lost three quarters of his body weight. When he returned to the soccer field a year later, he was weaker, slower, but playing again. And that was just the most amazing feeling I've ever felt of being able to get back on there and pass and shoot and do everything that I was able to do before. Seven years later, Aguayo is now suiting up for Mallard Creek, starting on varsity yep. as a freshman. It's absolutely amazing to me that I'm able to be where I am now after going through all of that. It, it blows my mind that I'm so lucky and lucky to have Levine Children's Hospital. Ben is healthy now, but he still gets treatment. He has a port in his chest where he still gets life-saving medicine every couple of weeks.